You know, I got yelled at um, a few days ago, a few videos ago, um, that I didn't pick up Fiesta. Fiesta wear is hard to sell, guys. Um, it doesn't even sell where I work. <laughs> so um, it's tough. Um, all right, let's swing around the corner. It looks like they're putting out some new carts. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Rami's Retro. So good to have you joining me today. We are at the 32nd Street and Thomas Goodwill, and I'm excited to go inside and see what we can find. Let's get started. All right, well, looks like we've got some pretty full shelves today, and we haven't been here in several weeks, so um, everything for us is gonna be pretty new. She's a very pretty, 849 on that. She's got all our little flowers and everything. I think we might put her in the cart and look her up and see if she has any value or anything. Little DeGrazia by Betty. That's cute. Oops, come back here. Where is this? Little perfume bottle. I like that. It's very sweet. Any chips, breaks? $4.49. There's no maker's mark or label or anything on that, but it is very sweet. It does have a stopper, so I think we'll go ahead and throw that in the cart as well. She's not as... She's not as darling as the other one. <laughs> Looks like she's a bank. Oh, okay. We've got this little guy too. He's got some pretty good weight to him, but I can already see that there's some breaks here and there to the pedals, although it's not that bad, surprisingly. 349 on that guy. Um, I might make, I might look it up in Duckies. That's a cute planter, Relpo. Is it broken? No, I think it's just really, really dirty. Um, so I think I might go ahead and grab that for, is that paint? Yeah, I think I might grab that for 149. That's a good deal on that guy. Um, that's probably worth about 15, 20 bucks. Oh, there's a big break on the, on the lid of that, on the top of that. What's this guy back here? Um, I can't see. Um, but it looks like the handle was broken at one point. Well, maybe not. I don't know. $8.49, though, on that. Hmm. Here's some little um, bobblehead dudes. I don't know if any of those guys are anybody important. Anybody that Garrett would know or like. What's this little girl? $8.49. Gosh, what's going on with their prices today? Um, but that is very sweet as well. I have something similar to it listed right now. Um, but this one's uh, got, got our little hands, so I don't know, maybe we'll throw that in and see how, see how that does. I don't know if I want to do that, um, but we'll look them up. They're very light. Um, I think they're like a really, uh, like a bone china almost, so... Um, these might these might have some value to them, so let's go ahead and throw those in. Uh, 149 on the abalone shell. Um, that's actually a really good price for that because they can't harvest abalone anymore. Um, so they are sort of collectible. Uh, little Lennox ornament. Speaking of shells, somebody made this little guy. It's interesting. 349. Um, somebody made this little guy, too. That's very interesting. Um, there's so much to see here today. $3.49 on that little guy. I think we'll pick that up. Um, Argentina. $2.49 security scan. I've never heard that before. That's interesting. I wonder what that means. Got some little plates back here. Check out the plates really quick. No, don't see anything there. What's this little plate? Uh, nope. Not for us. Little birdie, 349. Okay. Well, I think that we are done in this aisle. Ooh, wow, store detective. My goodness, little Avon lady, little dinosaur, he's not old. Little 
boat. I think we might have seen that before, and I was wondering why it was $3.49 for a teeny cute little boat. Um, anything down here on the bottom? We got so wrapped up with all those little figurines and stuff up there, we didn't look at the bottom shelves here. Nope, just some pieces of wood. And so I think we will swing around the corner and um, see what they got on the other side. Okay, we got like clocks and things. That looks interesting. Oh, it's resin. That looks interesting. Oh, it's plastic. So clocks and things. And then we got some metal. I like these brass candle holders. I like this ash there too, but it's very damaged, which is a bummer. They are attached to each other. So what am I going to do? There we go. Oh gosh, $6.49, huh? So I'm sure it's $6.49 each. Yes, $6.49 each. Um, that is good brass though, and those are really pretty. I like those a lot. Um, we'll, we'll have to think about that though, because 12 bucks is kind of a lot, 13 bucks. Um, here we've got some crystalline glass. Not seeing anything right off the bat. Um, most of it's just glass. Um, before I got here, as I was going around the corner, um, I kind of spied a couple of things that I missed. Um, I've been trying to get better about grabbing stuff on camera, obviously, but when I'm looking through my phone and trying to pay attention to what's going on around me, that can be tough. But this old little pl uh, planter is kind of cool. You can put fake flowers in it. Or For $3.49, I thought that was kind of neat. You could paint it whatever color you wanted to. So we grabbed that. Um, I got this little kitty cat bell because it's super cute and was made for Kmart and poor Kmart. They're, they're all gone, um, but Kmart was a big part of my childhood. Um, and then this guy didn't have any breaks on him either. Um, so we're going to try to look him up and see if he's or who he belongs to. He's got a label, but it's totally faded. Um, it's not porcelain, but it's, it's ceramic. So I don't know. I thought that was a cute little guy. So we picked those guys up too. Um, let's see what's on these shelves here. Candles and things. Any good stuff? Any good candle holders? Not seeing anything yet. That's a nice piece of brass, but $8.49. I don't know what's going on with them and their brass at the Goodwill, huh? All of a sudden, it's really, really expensive. Um... pretty but I don't think it's old it's like a new a new thing that you can get at like home goods or whatever um, I've seen them before so let's head over to oh, on the way to glasses I saw this little baggie and this guy was yelling at me hi look at me look at me he's so cute with his little hearts and then there's a little kitty cat or chipmunk or something in here and another little figurine like a bird I guess and a little bell and a little gnome or something. I think for $3.49, we'll grab this baggie of junk. Um, if not for him, then nothing else, because he's pretty cute. And then let's check out glass, see what we got here. That's a really interesting, um, it's a really interesting little glass. Huh, it's like kind of shaped like a rose. This leaf is broken off, though, unfortunately, but that's really pretty. I've never seen anything quite like that. Well, not seeing too much in mugs, unfortunately. Um, and this music is super loud in here today. That's cute. That's kind of old. Uh, K-O-T-C, I think it says. Korea, 149 I don't know. For 149 that's sort of sweet. Well, let's grab it. Other than that, though, I'm not seeing any other fun stuff or any Starbucks. Um, I know I got yelled at um, a few days ago, a few videos ago, um, that I didn't pick up Fiesta. Fiesta wear is hard to sell, guys. Um, it doesn't even sell where I work, <laughs> so um, it's tough. Um, all right, let's swing around the corner. It looks like they're putting out some new carts, so that's exciting. 
All right, it got a little congested over there, so I skipped an aisle, um, but we're gonna look at bowls and things really quick and see if we can find any good stuff here. Doesn't look like it so far, though. Little bakers and things. Doesn't look like any of those plates are too old. Mostly new stuff. I try to stay out of other people's way, but other people don't stay out of my way. They like to get right in the way and try to get in the same aisle that I'm in while I'm shopping. It can be a little frustrating sometimes, so that's why I might seem to go a little fast sometimes, or I'm not talking. It's because I'm trying to get around people. So nothing on this aisle. Let's uh, see if we can swing around the corner. Okay, plates and bowls and things. We finally got in this aisle. I had to wait for a couple of people to leave, but I was uh, patient and I looked up some things while, while they were shopping and now it's our turn. So let's see what we got. Um, although, looks like it might've been a lot of waiting for a lot of nothing. All oh, those are Rachel Ray. I had these um, at one time. Rachel Ray, yeah. Little owls on them, they're cute. But none of the rest of this is very old. Although they do have a lot, wow. It's kind of fun. But just one of them. That one too is sort of a neat pattern. But just one of them. And here's, we've got some saucers, stoneware. It's a sweet little dish. Four forty nine. Huh. And then we've got teacups. Seattle. All right. Well, kind of underwhelming. Oh, stuff's falling everywhere. Made in Japan. That's kind of sweet that it's got a break right there in the middle. It doesn't look like there's anything else here. Just a bunch of jars and stuff. We don't need that. It's an interesting sunflower basket or whatever it is. I'm not sure what. Oh my gosh, that cookie jar. I have this cookie jar, actually. Uh, mine is not all completely orange, though. It has different colors. Looks like this one's got a big chip on the front right there, which is too bad. And another rough spot on the back there. 549. Oh, and his ear is really badly chipped. Yeah, somebody like, I don't know, they did a weird kind of all over orange paint job on him. I'm not sure I like that, but he is a cute cookie jar, the one I have. Um, I love. So not too much else here. Looks like another cart's getting rolled out. So this was definitely the right time to come. Uh, let's see if there's anything good on that cart. All right, let's check out wood and see what we've got here. Um, it got really busy in here. Um, it was, it was sort of busy when I got here, but it has gotten considerably busier. Um, and then with them stocking the carts, of course, that that really creates chaos so so far not seeing anything too exciting in wood oh that's like a big heavy just a chunk of wood there's a sweet little jewelry box up here he's got a little spinny thing there it's kind of cute how much is that guy 649 huh i don't know that it's too old but it is sweet Try to get out of my own way here. Um, <clears throat> now I'm not seeing anything in wood, unfortunately. Oh, this guy, Aries, it's really dirty though. All right. Okay, baggies. Um, there aren't too many 
here um, that look interesting, but always got to scan the baggies really quick. So let's run through that. And then that brings us to art. So let's see if there's any fun stuff in art. A little art first here. <clears throat> Not seeing anything though. And then we're going to get to big art. And it looks like there's nothing there either. Pop over here to the corner. Nope. And then around the corner. Not seeing anything. Give you an update on the cart situation here. So when they had the fresh carts out, I grabbed this really quick because I thought that looked pretty cool. It's a little needle point. It's really well done. It's framed, padded, 149. So that's that's a nice pickup right there. Uh, we will definitely grab that. Um, then I also got um, this ugly face. <laughs> He's a very silly little guy, um, little mug for $4.49, but um, it's like a little studio pottery piece, and it looks like they sell for between $15 and $150, so it depends on the style and what people like and whatever, so we go ahead and pick that up and we'll see what happens. Uh, I also saw on one of the end caps um, these Vietri uh, made in Italy, a uh, little, I don't know what they are, a little flower? flowers I guess um, containers they're like little little sugar bowls or something so it doesn't look like there's any breaks or anything on them they are pretty delicate so I hope they're okay um, but for $3.49 I thought I'd pick the two of those up because um, that's a really good uh, pottery brand um, then we also grabbed this little guy he's made in Greece he's like a replica of an ancient Greek um, little amphora or whatever so I picked that up but there is no price on it so hopefully they'll be able to tell from that little red mark on the bottom what that what that price is um, there was this again no price little toothpick holder um, blue swan he's probably not worth too much but he's cute so I had to pick him up um, and then this guy um, he's 249 he's like a little planter um, but he's never even been used or anything he still has this little ticket on him and Easter's coming so this is really cute I thought that would make a really nice little Easter gift um, for somebody, so I'm gonna grab that. Um, and then this plate was $3.49, and it's, uh, you couldn't paint it on the wall, <clears throat> and it just looks really, really cool. I like the gold on it. Um, it's hand-painted, it's signed, um, so really neat. I'll do a little research on it, see if I can find out who the artist is. Probably nobody, but um, we'll see how many dollars we can fetch for that. Um, so yeah, we got some really cool stuff today. Um, I did put the little girl back that we picked up at the beginning. Um, I looked her up and it looks like she, uh, one sold recently for five bucks. Um, and so I think we're not going to be able to do a whole lot with that. Um, so we will uh, head on up to the... Okay, well our total spend there was $36. Um, the little items that he that didn't have a price, he bundled two of them together, the little toothpick holder and the little um, porcelain uh, flower basket. They didn't have prices. So he gave me those for $2.49 together. And then uh, the little uh, grease uh, vase was $3.99, $4. So that's pretty good. Uh, and then the other thing that didn't have a price, I can't remember what it was now, um, but he gave me that for um, $2.49 as well. So uh, pretty decent. He was a very sweet kid um, and he let me wrap everything up. So it's nice and safe. I like that. So we're going to head home. Um, everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking and subscribing um, to my channel, watching my videos, all the fantastic, wonderful, supportive, fun comments. Please keep them coming. I love it. Um, and until next time, be safe out there, everybody, um, and have fun. And I'll see you later. Bye.